Good morning or good afternoon or good evening wherever you are. My name is Peter von Sell and uh, I'm just here to give you a short history of where House Kiot came from. I was not a first year in Kiot but rather in one of the old Inkop pier houses in 2001. 2002 was Kiot's first official year where all four Inkop pier men's residences were put together. Only in January 2002 did the Inkop pier residences here that they would be one residence instead of two. One would have been in the Zinnia building and one would have been where Kiot is now. Kiot was supposed to be in the Zinnia building. The other res was to be named Krimatart. They merged that January taking the Kiot name and the Krimatart logo. The Kiot uh, logo initially was a dragon and the Krimatart logo was a tiger. Merging these two residences in the January, they decided that they would take Kiot's name and Krimitat's logo. That year, in 2002, they actually had two Harkas in the house. And uh, that was pretty interesting, having two um, of everything. Right, the guys went past that, and uh, I think they had two chairmen. The first one was Nudia van Amarve. The other guy, I can't really remember. I'll try to get his name. Right, the year after that was the first one Harkar house, and we had Arnu Krier as our chairman. 2004 and 2005, we had Sipum Bakota, who was Harkar then, and then we had Chris Gilfillan. Uh, the rest started out pretty small. We didn't have a lot of things. And we had to start all the traditions afresh. Right, we built the clubhouse in 2004 and 2005. We had our first fiesta or heisya or heis in 2004. We took part in Sari uh, 2004 for the first time. And we started integrating culturally very, very successfully back then. Right. We had, uh, I think we had a win in 2002 for the Yes the Arsh, uh, the concert they have with uh, all the first years at that stage. Uh, our house father at that stage was Johannes Grunier and our house mother was Francie Grunier and they were the first official house parents of Hayes Uh What else can I tell you? Sport, we've always been successful. Um, the end copy guys brought that tradition with them. Uh, rugby wise, there were stars left, right, and center. If you think about current Springboks, Donny Rousseau came from one of the end copy residences, and uh, I think even Fanny de Villiers was from end copy. Right, this culture was brought forward into Heiskiot, where you had the four uh, end copy residences merging, and sports wise, rugby wise, we were very successful. Football or soccer as well. Uh, the guys always did great, and I would say we always ranked in the top three or four uh, while I was there. Kyot was a new residence, not always accepted by the mainstream residences, but I can really say after 10 years, I'm proud to be a Kyot man and Kyot Tasur. Have a nice fierce.